What's going on, my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Garrett with Game by the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today because we are trying out some of the new cards that were recently balanced in the most recent update and set of balancing changes. So if you guys didn't see that video, it was my video yesterday talking all about the update. If you haven't updated your game yet, definitely do so. It's really, really cool. And some of the cards that they did, that they changed, included uh, Catapult, Clock of Power, which you see both of which are in my deck, Corsair, Meteor, all of those cards got buffed. So that's why this guy's running Meteor. He's doing Boreas Meteor with Dryad, which is a little bit interesting. I'm definitely going to try out Meteor. I was trying out Meteor a little bit with Inquiz, although I know Inquiz and Meteor don't really mix because uh, you're going to be, you, you want to be able to spam Meteors out anytime possible. And if you have Inquiz, you have to keep a certain amount. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. <clears throat> Stasis was another one that got adjusted. I actually recently was using a Stasis deck in replace of uh, Clock of Power, what I have in my deck right here. It wasn't all that great. I didn't notice a massive difference between Stasis on what it was before to what it is now. But maybe there is. Maybe there's definitely a deck that works pretty well with it. Maybe like extra slow with Stasis. or I'm not really sure, but let's spam our board a little bit. Or a lot. You know, either one. We got Warlock. We've got Inquizzes. And, uh, and yeah, I gotta look into a little bit more of the mechanics of how Clock of Power works. And I know you guys are probably gonna tell me in the comments, but... I don't think leveling him up, like, one to max, I don't think that does anything. I think Merge Rank does something. And I think once you actually merge... You, you'll see a difference. So, when I merge a Clock of Power, you'll see that a bunch of things pop up on his screen. So, let's do one here. I'll show you. You see that? I merged and all of a sudden a bunch of stuff like popped up on his screen. Uh, let us see. Let's just do that. Okay, I don't mind that. Gorgon here. Ooh, let's just do that, I guess. Okay, that's perfect. Come on. I'll do this. I'll do this. We've got a minute, so I can use my... Um, hmm. Let's just do that for right now. Okay. I can use my Snowflake here because I can get about a minute under my belt. Every minute about I can use my Snowflake. I would love a... Inquiz. Thank you. We found our Inquizzes. We've got some pretty hefty looking catapults. Clock of Power is slowing down Boreas's attack speed. This actually might be a really good matchup for us. Obviously, his deck isn't all that crazy. Um, but the fact that he is... Like, the attack speed of his damage unit is really, really important. For example, if we were going up against, like, the Crystal Mancer slow deck, I don't really know if attack speed is going to mean all that much. If we're going up against, like, an Inquiz or a Boreas Hex, I think attack speed is actually really important because it's not so important about the damage that they're doing, which I'm sure they're going to come out with a come out with a card that decreases the damage. That would be cre pretty crazy, right? It's more important about the attack speed because then that gives the Hex a better opportunity of actually getting an instant kill. So I think we're in a good spot here. He's obviously Meteor, so it's really hard to see where you are because he can always just spam out a Meteor. And I did, like, I, guys, I was trying out Meteor. Try out Meteor now because you can kill bosses. I did, I don't think it's as crazy as before. Well, I, I'm pretty sure it's not as crazy as before. But uh, I, like, merged two rank three Meteors and killed, like, a four million boss or something like that. That was definitely able to be done prior to the nerf and now you can do it again you definitely couldn't do it after the nerf so try it out if you guys haven't already really really interesting i really like the combination of catapult and inquisitor it would probably be beneficial for me to have some sort of slow in here as well just because as the game goes on, it's really hard to keep all the monsters in one spot. Maybe it would be better for me to run J, but my J is only level 3 when my Snowflake's only level 
uh, two. So you guys can kind of decide. Uh, but so far, so good. I'm. I really don't know if we're if we're winning, if we're losing. He's got Snowflake too. It might just come down to who can use their Snowflake last. Which he just used his there, which I don't mind at all. We, we didn't even need to use ours. And there is a victory. And this guy's got the fancy avatar. Let's hit him with a good game. So let's see where he's at. Anything crazy? Oh, and a couple other things. Well, first off, remember when we talked about, if you guys saw my last video, we talked about how they changed the critical rating thing, right? My critical damage went from 1,050 to now it's 1,474 just because of how they reworked it. So everybody who has got these crazy high critical ratings, I didn't do anything different. They, they changed the critical rating. It's not like I went on a spending sp spree. But let's look at clock, clock of power real quick. So attack speed. Uh, da, 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 so okay. Interesting. Attack speed reduced after merging. So once you merge, if you merge a unit, it'll it'll increase or decrease even more so. So regularly it'll be a minus 2.5% speed reduction. But then once you merge, there's a 25% That's crazy. Let's check out if mana does anything. Okay, so mana does do something. So let's jump into another game here. Probably should have done that before the video started, but now we know a little bit more. So here, okay, so actually this is a little bit interesting here. Vampire, Bombardier, Crystal Mancer, Frost, and Boreas in this deck. Okay, so let's hit him with a good luck. This man's a good sport. We got Tribunal. We got one in Quiz. We got two units on our board. This is a really good start. And the fact that this guy is running Boreas, I think, benefits us as well. And now we know we want to level up our, our Meteor, our Clock of Power, as well as do those Merge Ranks. I saw somebody playing against me, when it, and it made me really curious to where they were playing Clock of Power. And somehow, they actually were, like, spamming out Clocks of Power, like... Harlequin, Summoner, Clock of Power, Clock of Power, Clock of Power. And then at one point, they just started like merging a bunch of them. And it was, you could notice like significantly slower attack speed on my board. I think I still ended up winning. So I like, it's a really, really cool interaction. I am still unsure if it's going to be like meta changing or even, you know, viable on the meta at all. But as of right now, it works pretty well. And obviously, we're also using Catapult. So shout out to Catapult, who I, which is pretty funny that we we were using Catapult like right before the update, and then uh, and then they updated it and they uh, improved it. Now we get to use it even more because it's actually a little bit better. But I, I've had I've been right about a couple a couple times about being like, huh, this card it needs a little bit of a rework, and then all of a sudden, boom, rework, and there you go. Uh, but so far, so good. We got 20 seconds. I think this deck has a lot of potential. I really do think Catapult and Inquiz are a really good combination. Again, maybe with some slow or maybe with increased light. Maybe like Night Statue or something. I think I was running that at some point. But I like the idea of Clock of Power. So let's hit our Snowflake. We should have about 52, as as it, are, as it already said it. 50, 52. Let's spam. Let's do some of these bad boys. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? Clock of power for me and you. Okay, so we've got clocks of power. Let's, we got warlock. I like our spot. Let's get our clock of power up. Let's do it. I wanna see this dude have such slow attack speed and then eventually I can merge out, well I can only merge out one right now. But we could totally merge out a couple of them at some point trying to find quizzes, trying to build up mana, all that stuff. So it kind of gives you a unique uh, method or, or ideal that you're trying to that you're trying to do. I, like horrible wording, but not only are you merging out summoners and merging out catapults, trying to find 
um, in quizzes, but while you're trying to find in quizzes, and if you have to merge out uh, clocks of power, which happen all the time, merging out like, you know, combining cold mages or stasises or whatever you have in your deck to try and find more um, in quizzes. Now, when you do it with, with clock of power, you're also getting a benefit. So it's almost like merging a summoner or priestesses or something like that. You're getting some sort of pro uh, a profit. You know, it's not mana, obviously, but it is profit. But right here, so far, so good. And uh, he's only got trainer, so this could be the end. I mean, he should probably just be using chemist. Ooh, that's a nice, that's a nice uh, tier three crystal mancer, though. We've only got 500 mana. Nor like right now, I really want to merge out one of my clocks of power and see if I can actually get there. I'm gonna do it. So minus even less. I mean, it should be attack speed for anything. So I feel like even in Frost, it would be useful. So let's use our Snowflake on Warlock just to try and take this guy out as much as we can. Uh, do -do 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 -do. All right, we've only got Catapult pausing. Okay, come on. Take him out. Uh, okay. Oh boy. All right, a little bit of panic there because we ran out of mana, but hey, we've got a rank three and a rank two um, clock of power. I'm still kind of unsure if it stacks. So if you merge, it reduces. If you've got a certain uh, mana level, it reduces at a different level. If you've got a different merge rank, it reduces to a different level. I still don't know if you have, like if you have eight rank three clocks of power on your board, can you just stop the units? Like, I don't know. I, I don't think there's any place in the game that actually says if, uh, says what happens if it stacks or if it doesn't stack. I don't, I don't think I've seen that. Now that this game's going super far, we, he's only got three Crystal Mancers, but he's got so much slow and so much stun that I think we're in a lot of trouble here. I mean, we're taking this guy out not too shabby. We got, what we have, 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. In quizzes. This is why I think, like, having Cold Mage in here would be really good. That's why I thought Stasis would be really good, but it just wasn't good enough, to be perfectly honest. Let's hit a Snowflake. Maybe we can take this little mini boss out. Mm, no, but almost close. So he's gonna. We only got a thousand mana, which is just tragic. All right. Well, we still got a bunch here, and it's under a mill. Come on, baby. Catapults. You gotta pause him. All right. We paused him for a bit. We're not gonna be able to get back to our Snowflake. He's only got to go through 1.4, 300. Come on, three, 300. Man, when you don't have any slow in your deck, it seems like the monsters go so fast. So this is going to be an L. There's nothing we can do about this anymore. Hit him with a good game. Nothing you can do. He's just going to be slow and slow and slow and slow and slow. And so even in so even in the next boss, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so I think Catapult is really good. It's just that it needs something else with it. It needs... A slow unit it needs the inquis to do more damage it needs something else and look at how far they're getting on my board now catapults we only got two ranked one catapults though so maybe that's well now we got a bunch come on catapults do a little something here catapults come on baby survive catapults no oh fast monster Ooh. so right there is an L the statistics, they need to find a way to put statistics up on units other than damage units. I don't care about how much damage the catapult did. Yeah, they just buffed its damage. I want to know how much it slowed. How much time did it give me per wave? So like, and I don't think that's that hard of a thing to do, right? How long does it take a monster to go around your board? How much longer did it take for a monster to go around your board because you had catapult? And same thing with summoner. Show how much mana I profited 
You know, if you merge a rank one and a rank one and you get a rank one and a rank two, you didn't use any mana, but you now benefited at that stage. You had, let's say it takes 100 mana to summon a unit right there. You now benefited 100 mana because you got an extra unit on your board, right? I feel like you could do things like that similarly with Harlequin. And then same thing with Clock of Power. Show me a percent of how much re reduced attack speed was on the board. I don't know. I feel like there are ways to get some sort of t statistics out there. So you're not looking at Clock of Power, Grindstone, uh, you know, Banner Lord, ban not Banner Lord, Banner, with zero, like, it's not doing zero. Like, I don't care how much damage it did. It's clearly not an attack unit. So yeah, you, you know what I mean? Things like that. But guys, Clock of Power, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm definitely going to continue to play around with it. I'm definitely going to try out Meteor in a bit. Let me know what you guys are thinking about all the new cards. You know, Catapult, Clock of Power. Let me know what you guys think of Meteor. Corsair got a buff too. I've been playing around a little bit with Corsair, and it's been really, really fun. Uh, and then also Demonologist did get nerfed. So let me know if you guys think Demonologist is completely out of the meta. I've still been seeing a decent amount of them. Uh, but that is going to be the end of this YouTube video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video.